Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem involving calculus and limits. Many have misunderstood this problem conceptually. Today's challenge is as follows. Find the limit as x tends to 0 of the floor of sine 24x over x, where the floor function is denoted by this symbol. Before we dive into the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab a pen and paper, and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your answers in the comments. Then let's explore the solution together. Let's get started. Let's understand what the floor function is. This function maps real numbers to the largest integer, less than or equal to them. Here are some examples. Especially, the floor of negative 3.4 is negative 4, not negative 3, as negative 3 is not less than negative 3.4. Note that the floor of any integer x is x itself. Next, let's sketch the graph of y equals to floor of x. At integer points, since the floor of an integer is x itself, we can plot these points. By definition, we can derive the graph as shown. This graph helps us understand that the limit of floor of x as x tends to 0 from the right is 0 and from the left is negative 1. Thus, the limit does not exist at 0. Note that graphing software like GeoGebra may not show the behavior at the endpoints of each segment. After the understanding of the floor function's behavior, let's revisit the well-known limit of sine x over x where x tends to 0. This limit is 1. Hence, the limit of sine 24x over x as x tends to 0 is 24. Remember, the limit of the product of function is a product of their individual limits if each exists. With this, many mistakenly conclude that the limit of the floor function equals the floor of the limit, giving the answer 24. This is incorrect because it assumes that the limit at x tends to a of a function f of g of x equals the function of f of the limit as x tends to a of g of x. These only hold if the inner function's limit exists and the outer function is continuous at that limit. The floor function, as we have seen, is not continuous at the relevant values. So does it mean our desired limit does not exist? Not necessarily. From the graph of y equals sine x over x, we observe that sine x over x is less than 1 for all x. Thus, sine 24x over x is less than 24 for all x. When x near 0, sine 24x over x lies between 23 and 24. The floor function will map these to the largest integer less than or equals to it, which is 23. So the answer for this question is 23. To visualize it, consider the graph of the floor of sine 24x over x. It clearly shows that the limit at x tends to 0 is 23. Comparing this graph with that of y equals to sine 24x over x, further clarifying this. Here is a zoom in version for better clarity. I post this question to our community, and as expected, more people answer 24 than the correct answer 23. This question is tricky, and it is a great one to challenge your friend with. Please invite them to participate. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting math challenge. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.